Hello students, I hope you all are fine. So today we will move on to the next part. Uh, we have almost done a lot of things on NumPy. And today we will learn about stacking in NumPy array. So let us consider uh, two arrays. And for that, first open this idle shell and import NumPy as NP. Now make two simple NumPy arrays, okay? Uh, I'm taking as x is equal to np.array, one comma two comma three comma four and I'm considering another array np dot array five comma six comma seven comma eight okay now I want to do stacking now what is stacking actually uh, when you keep one book on top of the other book, you are stacking the books together, okay? So stack, stacking means you can keep the things on top of one another and you stack the items, okay? So over here, we will also do stacking of these two uh, NumPy arrays. So first of all, let us see how these arrays have been formed. So press X and check. It's a two cross two matrix is formed press y and check that is also a two cross two matrix so i want to do stacking so suppose i want to stack on uh, one array suppose this x array i want to stack upon this y array or y on upon x vertically okay i want to stack them the arrays vertically so i'll write np dot array sorry np dot v stack when you are stacking the arrays vertically you will write v stack v stack x comma y so you can see x array and y arrays are stacked on one another vertically okay the same way we can uh, stack these arrays horizontally so let us see how it works np h stack h is for horizontal stacking h stack x comma y and you find that this is my x array and this is my y array part both are stacked horizontally so you now know how to stack vertically and horizontally uh, to arrays, to given arrays. We can also find out the dimension of the uh, stacked arrays. So just uh, on this very line, you add a part dot n dim. You know how to find the dimension that is n dim. And I just press enter and I see that is it's a dimension 2 array. Okay, it's showing you the same thing. So uh, over here as well, when you V stacked, I can also see uh, the dimension of my v, uh, uh, of the array after it is being stacked uh, vertically. So just press enter and you can see that it's also a two dimensional format. Okay. It's quite clear. Now I want to check my X again, how it is there. It's already the same as we have taken the previous one. So after stacking, another important thing is inserting. So we will insert a value in the given array. So how are we going to do that? NP dot simply write insert X comma one Suppose I want to insert the number 10. Okay, so 
I just uh, write like this. I want to insert the number 10. Fine. So you find the output to be a flattened form. So you see after uh, this first position, this uh, I find that 10 is being inserted. So this gives you a flattened format. Okay. Now, suppose I can re uh, just add a part over there. Comma. If I write axis equal to zero, any guesses how it would appear? Yes, I will have some changes in the row. So let's see. My original x was one, comma two, three, comma four. So I see that after one comma two, a row is being inserted having the number 10. Okay, similarly, you can also insert a column with any of your choice numbers. Okay, so just change this part. I'm not rewriting, I'm just uh, showing you in a bit way, uh, faster way, just copying and pasting it. So if I write uh, x uh, axis as 1, then what will happen? My x array will be uh, seen with a new column uh, that is being generated by uh, inserting the number 10. So here you have a new array with a whole new column being inserted there with uh, numbers 10 and 10. Okay. Up till now, it's fine. Okay, so you have learned stacking. You have now seen inserting. Now, another important part is there. That is appending. Appending is what? You can add a number. Okay, so suppose I consider an array, np dot array. 1, 2, 3, say 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9. I have taken this array, suppose, okay? And I have taken another array, say in the format, uh, say np.i. Okay? So I have taken two arrays. Now I want to see how my uh, Y has formed. Let's see. Yes, it's an identity uh, array or matrix, whichever way you can say. Now I want to append this. Okay, so how will I do that? I'll write np dot append x comma y comma suppose I mentioned the axis as well okay so I see that X uh, and Y are appended after X Y is being appended okay just as you have seen yes just as you have seen that when you uh, I mentioned the axis zero what happens it is uh, uh, added in a uh, row wise okay so that's why what happened after this x uh, you see that below it is being added now if you write the same thing with the axis equal to one yes and uh, someone is asking yes when axis equal to one i'll do i'll get the two uh, arrays appended horizontally. This comes as vertically appending. Yes, it's almost like that. It's vertically appended. And when I write axis is equal to one, I'll get horizontal append appended. Okay, so let's see. Yes, so it's appended at the end horizontally. Okay. Yes, now. 
we will now uh, learn the last part of this, uh, I guess, almost uh, the end of uh, NumPy array. Uh, we have already done this in normal numerical analysis, but over here using NumPy we haven't yet done. So we will do splitting, that is uh, how to split an array horizontally and how to split an array vertically, okay? Thank you. Thank uh you. -huh.